Hello everyone, today there will be a slightly different news release, because Armand Paint 0.8 is officially finished. So I would like to look back and compare version 0.7 and 0.8 program interface. If you look at version 0.7 and 0.8, you will immediately notice how much the program interface has changed. The main difference are asset browser at the bottom of the screen and also new tabs appear in it. Fonts, swatches, console, scripts, new style of icon for tools, show asset name, new layer system. The texture bake tool is now a separate program mode, new program mode material, new more user friendly setting menu interface, support for other language for the program interface. Futures. What's new in version 0.8? Cloud, an online library where you can find many materials and HDRI maps. There are also folders with brushes, decals, etc. But so far, they have not been filled in it. New layer system, another very important change that appear in version 0.8. Now you can create multiple masks for one layer. At the same time, mask can be of different types, as well as ability to mix masks with each other blending mode of normals for each layer. In the context menu of a layer, you can enable or disable this feature. Rename layers in layer window. Swatch a new tab where you can create your own color palette for painting the model. Scripts in this tab you can run the JavaScript. Support for export of texture atlas. The function allow you export texture for multiple objects. Preview of nodes in the Material Editor window. New nodes in Material and Brush Editor, as well as revision of some exist nodes. Grouping node. Projection mode for texture coordinate of the layer. Two additional modes of displaying the model in the viewport, opacity and height map. Ability to import HDRI environment map. New property for the brush, directional brush, lazy mouse, brush jitter, stencil, decal mask, new type of mask, fill mask, this function allow you create procedural mask, live brush preview mode for the brush, new mode for blur tool, directional blur, support for real-time path tracing in DXR build. Program setting. The program setting have also become more extensive. As I already said, in the interface menu there are now options for choosing the program language, display and preview of nodes and asset name. New tab for customizing the interface theme. In version 0.7 the function was performed by the theme editor plugin. Additional setting options have also appeared in the usage tab. The pen also received additional property setting. In the viewport tab, move some parameters from the viewport menu and add a parameter that set the displacement string. Changes have also taken place in the hotkeys tab. There are new hotkeys for new function. In the last tab, plugin, add new plugin, import SVG, import TXT, import USD, Pixar format, texture breakdown and viewport cell shading. And of course a lot of bugs were fixed, which means the program has become more stable. Well, that's all for today. Thank you all and take care of yourself.